Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? It just so happens I'm an electrician. Check out my credentials. Well, no. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> Here's a house bedeviled with faulty wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. Hmm. I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass washer. No! <laughs> and when you've finished that, will you take a look at the pumps? No! As the man raised his arm to drink, I snatched the towel away. No! There was nothing physically wrong with the glass washer. No! I used all my knowledge of electrical engineering to examine no. the plug. Seemed fine to me. I couldn't see anything obviously wrong with the machine. I figured it must be the wiring. As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. No! Careful! No! Careful! I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. No. Bingo! Yeah. And a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? Well, I guess so, but I'm not making any promises. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on me hands. The pumps are in the no. cellar, right? That's right. Yeah. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. What a dumb place to store a flashlight. A dark cellar. The only way I was going to find anything down there was to feel around. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. I lifted the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer rose from the cellar below.
I looked down on a stone tiled floor, way too far to jump. Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light opera. It was Khan. What's the problem? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate accident. I didn't see anything. What about the boy? Uh, he doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Not enough genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. Then I noticed a flash of light, something sparkling beneath the open trap door. It was Pegram's gem, all right. A large, uncut blue stone. As I held it aloft, I realized the fascination it could command. I guess I was already under its spell. Did you find it? What? Whatever you was looking for. Uh, yeah. Listen, McGuire. I want you to keep this to yourself. No problemo. Just chuck us up a crater lager. No way, you're not old enough. We can sell it and make some cash. Forget it, kid. I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could, for sure. That old misery guts deserves it. If you want to do me a favor, keep a lookout for that guy in the suit. Okay, but it'll cost you a pack of the chips. Oh, and shout if you see that Ferrari. I searched the trash, but there was nothing useful there. I tried to pull the lever, but it wouldn't move with the trap door open. I looked among the cleaning materials, but saw nothing I could use. The carton was damp and soggy, useless. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty-colored water. I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on dripping. Hello again. No! What? Could you use this towel? I could, but it wouldn't be much use for anything else. Hello again. No! What? What do you think of this flashlight? Very useful. That could be very handy in the dark. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. It belongs to Leary. Hello again. No! What? What does this gem mean to you? Well, well. Would you look at that? Pretty. 
Do you recognize it? No. Hello. What now? Do you have any use for this towel? I suppose I could squeeze it out into my glass if I was desperate enough. What do you think of my flashlight? Those electric lamps are useful but limited in lifespan in my experience. I was given one for my birthday, but it stopped working after a month. Well, the battery was probably drained. What? Nobody told me. I threw it away. This is the gem that Pegram found in the castle. So that's what all the fuss was about. I can't see why myself. Why men would fight and steal and kill over a little bauble like that. Well, it's kind of neat the way it sparkles. I gotta go. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. What now? Does this towel mean anything to you? Sure, it's one of Leary's towels. Are you planning on stealing it? Just borrowing it, if you must know. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. What now? What do you think of this flashlight? It's not a very practical piece of equipment, is it? It's not switched on. Well, I'm referring to the lack of a bracket. How would you be fixing that to your bicycle? I don't have a bicycle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. What now? Do you recognize this gem? Ah, that's a beautiful stone. Is it the one which Pegram found? And the reason why both he and Fitzgerald have disappeared. Then it's only a matter of time before you vanish too. Hey! No. Hello there again, no. mister! What do you think of this towel? Now, there's a fine piece of cloth, if ever I did see one. Such craft must surely come from linen cupboards of the Vatican itself. I found it on the bar under my <gasps> elbow. I thought it looked familiar. What do you think of this flashlight? It's not very bright, is it? I could say the same about some of the present company. That's true. But don't let him hear you. Keep it under your hat, mister. That flashlight, like your brain died is not switched on. No! I don't think he heard me. Do you recognize this gem? Saints be praised. It must be worth a fortune. Uh, maybe it is. Have you seen it before? It's the one which Pegram took from the dig. Oh. No! How come no! you've got it now? He left it behind. I'm looking after it. Oh. You could take that to Dublin and sell it. Bye for now. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? No. May I borrow this towel? <coughs> sure you can, on one condition. What's that? You keep it away from old Ron. Who's Ron? That's him in the corner, with the hygiene <coughs> problem. I found your flashlight. So I see it. You'd better keep hold of that until you fix the pumps. Does this gem mean anything to you? No! Sure. <laughs> what a beauty. I bet you wish that was real, don't you? Thanks. Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? What do you make of this, kid? Hey, that's one of Leary's towels. He'll skin you alive. That old windbag doesn't scare me. Anyhow, I'm only borrowing it. You're pretty cool, mister. For an old guy. What do you think of my flashlight? It's a torch. That's what we call it on this side of the Atlantic. 
Want a closer look at the gem, Maguire? No, I don't. Jewels is for girls. You'd better hide that, mister. What if the pixie comes back? You'll be in trouble then. I don't believe in pixies. Underneath that costume is a psychotic killer. Smart. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. I pushed my fingers into the narrow crack. It went back several inches into the rock. I inserted the end of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. Hey, Billy. The animal fixed on me with an evil glare. Behind the malice and resentment, there was a cool intelligence. How you doing, boy? I felt as threatened as I'd been by the assassin and his goons in Paris. It was the fiercest, meanest looking old goat I'd ever laid eyes upon. Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? See you later, kid. Okay, mister. <laughs> 
Hello again. No! What? I'll see you later. No! Careful! Excuse me. A yes, sir? I don't want anything. No! Just give me a shout when you do. Hey! Hello there again, mister! Oh, nothing really. No! Excuse me, Mr. No! O'Brien. What now? Oh, nothing. Ah, uh, good riddance to you. Hello. What now? I gotta go. The goat's movements were restricted by a halter tied to a metal post. Hey, Billy. The goat responded with a cool and penetrating stare.
The goat's movements were restricted by a halter tied to a metal post. Hey, Billy. The goat responded with a cool and penetrating stare. Hey, Billy. The goat responded with a cool and penetrating stare. Uh, that is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 